Hello and uh, welcome to the second devlog. Um, in this devlog, I'm going to show you the particle effects of Valley of Magic. Um, in Unity, there's two different kinds of particles. You have the uh, legacy particles, which, as the name suggests, are the old type of particles, and then you have the shuriken particles, which uh, which is the new system they've made. In Valley of Magic, I've chosen to use the legacy particles because, for whatever reason, um, they're more accessible through code, the variables they have. Um, but <laughs> even when that's all said and done, it can only access like half of the variables you see here, um, which which is a bit strange. I don't know why that is, but um, with Shuriken, it's, it's a lot more limited. Um, but yeah, that, that's why I chose the legacy particles. It's not that much harder. Um, personally, I think you can do a bit more with it. Although this shuriken one is a bit more intuitive, the interface is nicer. Um, it's a bit easier to to understand what all the variables are, even though they do have tooltips. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's just how Unity works. Um, but yeah, in uh, uh, this particle system I've, I have here is uh, the one I'm going to use. Oh, <laughs> sorry, the one I'm going to use in uh, my next turd, which is going to be an ice turd. Right now I have the torch called <laughs> no, the fire called torch and the ground called Kobe Pod. Uh, this is going to be the first um, ice uh, turret. It's initially it's gonna it's just gonna slow down the enemies but through upgrades you can make them slow down even more and you can have them freeze and a bunch of other cool stuff. Um, I haven't worked on that yet. I'm, uh, I've only done the particle effects so far but that's sort of the hard part about making turrets in the game. Um, so first I had this linear effect but I didn't quite like it. I mean, uh, in my in, in my honest opinion, like if you have a turret that sort of freezes enemies, it should be more radial. So uh, I, I copied it, I dupli made a duplicate, and I ha ended up having this. <laughs> it's kind of hard to see to the camera. One sec. But it the it does need to be a bit of tweaking. But the idea is uh, you'd have enemies come, and then it would quickly emit and stop sort of like that, and sort of uh, quickly spread out, hit a bunch of enemies, and have them freeze. I'm probably going to make it a lot faster. As I said, it needs a bit of tweaking, but uh, it's a bit basic idea. Um, so yeah, let's uh, see how that works in game. Uh, I can, I'm not going to put what I have so far in game, uh, it might not quite work, but I can show you how my torch turret works. So, uh, as you can tell, it also has a particle system, and uh, in-game I use what's called uh, my attack script. As the name suggested, it, it sort of uh, deals with uh, attacking, and uh, first thing you want to do when you, when you make a turret is decide whether or not it has a particle parent, which is sort of a bit of a hack. If, uh, if I start emitting, you can see it, uh, it's sort of... <laughs> I've manually made it uh, hit uh, a parent, which really doesn't hold anything but a position. Um, and I've done this <laughs> out of just sheer laziness. Um, I didn't want to bother with having to uh, calculate where the enemy was compared to um, the particle, because it, it starts emitting here, as you can tell. Um, and I, ju I just didn't want to bother with that, so instead uh, I decided that I could just take a, a box which uh, essentially stated that it uh, had a parent before it hit the, the parent that holds the upgrades and such. Uh, and yeah, it, it's, it a bit, it's a bit of a hack, but it works. Uh, so I'm not going to change that, I think. But yeah, one, once that's done, it's pretty much it. Uh, it has a, a particle collider which um, once it hits the turret, it sends out a, a collision message, and uh, through that, it will then deal damage to the uh, enemy. Uh, it's basically how it works. Then um, there's a bunch of different variables you can put in, but that all works to the creator. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, thanks for watching.